Hi, uh, how are you today? Uh, we're going to be installing a GFI today on a, a house here for somebody and I'll uh, show you how it's done. So this is something I like to do myself is I like to put some electrical tape around where the Romex connector goes. So I make sure my wires are flat where they're coming out of the jacket. I'll put some tape around here a few turns. This will protect the wires Okay, we will be screwing the Romex connector into the back of the box here. Snug it up. Make sure the tape is inside. And uh, now we'll snug this up evenly on both sides. Now we'll take our screws and we'll screw this box onto the wall here. You gotta put your plugs in, in here. You gotta get one in the bottom here. Box nice and tight against the wall.
you're tightening right up nice and tight. Okay, so we are going to go to this ground screw here because it, it's a metal box. So we'll take this ground wire. We'll come over. Come around. Since we're making a loop here, it doesn't matter which way I turn it because it's going to be a, a loop. But if I was putting it around the screw at the end of the wire, I'd be putting it the way that the screw turns. Okay, so this is the GFI. Here is the load, and we're not going to be hooking anything to the load, so we're going to be turning these screws in so they don't touch anything. And these are the ones we're going to be hooking up to. It says a uh, line here, the white goes on the silver side, the black goes on the brass side, and the ground goes on the green wire. So we're going to cut our wires back a little bit. We're going to strip them just long enough so that Okay, see how this wire We're, gotta get them nice and straight here see this little clip in here it's just a push in and it's a twist and lock type of a connection see how the wire goes up into the plastic up up here it goes up into here a little bit so I'm going to uh, tighten this down And we're going to hook our white wire onto the silver side. It goes in. See how I have a little bare wire coming up? So I'm going to just snip that back a little bit. There, see the insulation just comes right up to the back of the GFI. Okay, then the same thing on the other side here. We're going to go in the back. Still slightly long there, so I'm going to just clip a little bit of that off. I'm going to put it in the hole. See how the insulation just butts up right to the back there? And so we'll tighten it up. Now when we fold these wires into the box, we fold them in like an accordion. See how it's going up and down? See how I have them going up and down here? Now the ground wire I'm keeping down in the bottom. I'm going to go across and back across here and I'm going to keep that down on the bottom. So I keep it away from the uh, live and neutral connections and we will just screw this into the box
all get nice and centered there. Again down here. I look, make sure my ground wire is down and everything's back out of the way there. This is the uh, gasket and we're going to be breaking out the rectangle here. And that goes over it like that. Okay, this is the outdoor cover. It can be used with either these these two holes here or the fours. I like to use the uh, four because it gives it a nice tight close. I'm missing two screws. Oh, here it is. There's the other one. Now one thing I like to do is I like to put some silicone around here. So this will help keep water from getting in. I go down the side. I'll go across the top. And I'll go down the other side. And I'll go up with my finger. Across and down. And this hole that we hit a piece of concrete in here, so I have to fill this all in. And uh, thanks for watching.